Hi Kylie, so I know I've been a butt and I haven't really been making videos at all, but I wanted to talk to you today about vampires for this very reason. So once upon a time you introduced me to a musical called Title of Show, which addressed this very issue in a song, and I'm going to kind of go over these things today and why it caused me anxiety to create videos for you on our channel. So the first vampire I'm going to address, as you know, is the pygmy vampire. They are the ones that swarm around your head like gnats and say terrible things to you. Some of the terrible things I've been hearing are things like, Oh, your commenters will say you have zits. They'll say you're ugly and fat. And they're gonna say just awful, horrible things about you and your face and your mom and... Well... Once upon a time, I actually asked a pretty well-known YouTuber about this, and he said, a channel is more of a dictatorship than it is a democracy, and if you want to delete those kind of comments, you're free to do so. You can actually delete those negative comments that do nothing but hurt your feelings. And I was elated because now I can have more positive comments about myself on our channel instead of things that are just simply meant to hurt my feelings. And you can do the same for comments that just simply hurt your feelings, which is amazing. Okay, now that goes without saying, well, maybe it goes with saying, that any comments that are left that are meant to be debate comments, comments that are supposed to inspire thinking and are not meant to just be hurtful, are fine. If you're offended or if you are saying something that is going to cause debate and free thinking, fantastic, leave that comment. But what I'm saying is, comments that are simply hurtful are probably going to be deleted just because they're simply hurtful. So yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in there so nobody gets confused. So the second vampire I want to talk about is the air freshener vampire. The air freshener vampire is the one who looks like your mother or your grandma and she tells you to clean it up and clean out the bad stuff that might be inappropriate or might be, you know, really weird or whatever the case may be. So the air freshener vampire that has really been prevalent in my head has mostly taken the shape of the future employer. This person is the person who's looking to hire me for a job and they stumble on this channel and all of a sudden they see me talking about wizards and unicorns and even things that might possibly be inappropriate like gore and, you know, also, well, Let's not mention Repo. Anyway, they've also taken the form of your mother who wants to come on the channel and be like, oh, I want to see the delightful videos my daughter and her friends are making. And then all of a sudden we're talking about really inappropriate stuff. And then there's also the kids who might watch this being like, yay, video. And then all of a sudden they go up to mommy and ask what carnage means. Well, I guess my biggest help has been to just think about it as I'll talk to you as if Lucy is listening in the conversation because you know Lucy, she doesn't really like swearing or talking about inappropriate subjects. She'll allow it, but she doesn't really like to talk about it. So that doesn't mean that it's restricting exactly, it just means that I'm gonna be making stuff that Laura will probably be okay with listening in on and watching, but then it's also kind of maybe not so appropriate, but it's appropriate enough. I don't want to not be myself though, so I may swear once or twice here, and that's okay for me. It's just, you know, you kind of have to take it with a grain of salt, and Kylie, you know me better than anybody else who's going to be watching this. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try as hard as I can to strike the delicate balance between appropriate and not appropriate. The last vampire is the mother of all vampires, and that is the vampire of despair. It'll wake you up at 4 a.m. to say things like, you're not good enough. What are you doing? You're acting like such an idiot. And why are you doing this? I've, I've dealt with this one a little bit. And, you know, ultimately, I just had to tell it, I'm making videos for my friend. I'm not making videos for commenters. I'm not even really making videos for myself so much. I'm making them for Kylie. Kylie, 
These are for you. You want to know what's going on in my life and what's going on in my head even though we're in two completely different places and that's what I'm making these videos for. Really. So as far as making videos goes and defeating the vampires goes, I just had to tell them I'm making videos for you and it doesn't matter what any vampire says, and a vampire is a person, a thought, or a feeling. You want to see me as I am. You know me as me. You don't want to see me pretending to be something that I'm not. And if I listen to the vampires, my work will be toothless, gutless, crotchless, and for a long time, because of that, it hasn't even existed. So now I'm creating things that exist because I'm telling the vampires to die. Die vampires! And these are for you. And I hope to make more videos in the future because I've actually kind of enjoyed this process. And I hope to see a video of yours soon. Bye! I love you.